Hey all welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren and today it's just going to be a quick video. I uh, actually went ahead and I bought an Anova Nano to test it out. They're on a really good price right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an unboxing of the Anova Nano. All right, I'll see you back in a second. All right guys, if you're not familiar with the Anova uh, line of sous vide units, you're probably uh, under a rock or you haven't looked at sous vide units at all before. But Anova is one of the uh, top sous vide unit producers out there. They're owned by Electrolux now. They're one of the innovators, one of the first ones that started uh, making the uh, uh, sous vide circulators on a regular basis. Um, this particular unit is one of their newer models. It's the uh, Nano, which is a little bit smaller than their older units. And one of the things that they did, I guess on their older units, they used to have some issues with um, the steam from the water getting into the electronics up above. And it would cause, you know, shorts and issues and uh, had a lot of problems with that with one of their manufacturers. So they went ahead and totally redesigned one of this this unit here and this here is, is supposed to be pretty much waterproof up to three foot of water so and you know so far um, I haven't seen anybody complain that their Anova Nano has gotten a short in it so it looks like they probably fixed that problem but one of the other things this particular unit is, is smaller it's not as heavy as some of the older uh, Anovas or the the uh, full-size Anova Wi-Fi uh, unit, but it also has some uh, other things that we're gonna we're gonna take a look at real quick. All right, guys, I'm back. And the first thing is, you know, this cover here is just a sleeve. It comes wrapped in cellophane. Um, you know, it does have this nice little sleeve on here that has some basic information on it. Uh, one of the things that it does say under here, it tells you the weight of the unit. Um, the temperature range, the precision, it's supposed to be within 0.2 degrees. So it's supposed to be actually a little bit better than the, uh, some of the other um, sous vide units out there. The power is 120 volts, but 750 watts. So it's kind of on the lower end of the wattage. But um, supposedly, from what I hear, they changed the algorithm on this. So even though it has lower wattage, it's supposed to heat the water faster than some of their other units do. That may have a higher wattage. So, uh, IPX7 is the uh, waterproof rating, and it just gives you the measurements: 1.6 pounds. Like I said, it's supposed to be lighter, smaller, and a little bit more versatile than their other unit. The only thing is that their clamp on here does not. All right, uh, now let's come get off. this out of the box here. Uh, comes in a nice, you know, black box with Onova on it. Um, first thing you're going to want does have a little pack here that's got some information just a general maintenance or general uh you know specs like i said this is bluetooth so you're going to want to download the anova app onto your phone or ipad android or iphone just so you can um, use their recipes and some of the other functions of the app you don't need to use the app with this you can it does have manual this is controls. what it looks like i mean it's sleek um, not very big. I mean, compared to the other Anova units where they have a really big, you know, head and big stainless steel, this is pretty much all plastic. Does have, what I understand, this bottom part will uncop pop off here. So in case you want to get down here to try to clean it, I don't think the whole thing will come off though. I haven't had a whole chance to play around with that. This snaps back into place, but um, it doesn't look like. You can actually pop this off. You may be able to pop this off to try to clean this inside. The clip does not come off. It is adjustable. And it's pretty stationary, though. I mean, it's you can't move it up and down. You can't um, uh, take it off so that you can put this inside a cooler or anything. Um, just kind of show you. This is my regular Lapavi um, container that I use. It does fit in there pretty good. This is a 18 quart. If you can kind of see, does not go all the way to the bottom though. So you pretty much have to fill it. With this particular one, the minimum line comes up to right here, 
and then the max is here so really you got to fill this particular container up pretty high one of the things I don't like about this I can see so far is if you look where the uh, clip is and the minimum line is right here and the maximum line is right here so I don't know how you could get up to the maximum line using this clip because any container you're sticking this in you're going to stop right here so you're never even going to get close to this max line um, you might get up to here or so but it won't even let you get up over the max line so that could be a good thing could be a bad thing because <laughs> i know on some of my gourmet units i can go just above the max line a little bit and it'll be fine but this you can't even get close to the max line um, on this at all especially in this type of container so that's just one thing i can see right away um, other than that, the only other thing I can see is that since this does not move and it's probably only a good inch, inch, inch and a half space in between here, you're going to kind of be limited on what kind of container you can use this in. So it probably won't fit in a cooler if you've got thicker insulation on a cooler since it doesn't uh, adjust, you know, just by comparing it to the Gourmia that I've been using. You know, this is also kind of limited as far as the clip goes, but at least, you know, there's more space compared to what this has. And it does have a cushion on it. So I can actually get this over two inches on the Gourmia and get into a cooler or something. This I, I, I'm probably not going to be able to fit into a cooler, especially a thicker cooler. If it's a real thin cooler, maybe like my Coleman Stacker, I might be able to. But um, just since we got those next to each other here, I'm going to show you the difference in the size. The Nano is definitely a lot shorter. Um, Gourmia is a little bit skinnier though still. Um, the clip sits way up high on the Gourmia, so I can actually, uh, on, in this particular um, container, I can pretty much set the Gourmia all the way to the bottom. So that gives me full operation, you know, full usage of all the water in there. Uh, I don't have to fill it up all the way. With this, I'm gonna, it looks like I'm going to have to fill it pretty full no matter what kind of meat I'm cooking in there. Just because of the way, just how short this unit is. It's a is. Sleek, sleek looking unit, that's for sure. It's not as small as the Jewel. You know, I have seen the Jewel. I don't have a, particularly have a Jewel here to compare it to. But it is bigger than the Jewel, a little bit thicker than the Jewel. But um, it uh, certainly is not as, it doesn't have as much wattage as the Jewel. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and see how easy it is to operate. So I'll be right okay, back. Guys, I'm going to show you how I'm going to connect this um, on my iPad here. I've downloaded the Innova app and opened it up. And once you pull it up, it's going to say on the bottom here, connect to start cooking. Hopefully you can see that. Hope the light doesn't uh, mess you up too bad but it does say connect to start cooking so what i'm going to do i have my anova here right next to it the nano and i'm going to go ahead and plug this in and it does power on as soon as you plug it in and what i'm going to do is hit the connect to start cooking and then it's going to automatically read it it's going to tell ask me it says your nano's current temperature should be the same as shown above or shown below so 76.5 and that's exactly what's shown on here asking me if this is it yes or no hit yes and now it's going to tell me that it's paired then it's going to ask me to allow notifications so allow notifications and then you got a green light at the bottom that just says start cooking so i'm going to go ahead and start cooking so i'm going to put this right on my container I'm going to show you move the camera a little bit show you how I got it here one of the things that personally I don't really care for on this particular unit is the way the front is facing uh, so as you can see on the Gourmia the clip is on this side. Sorry, didn't mean to knock the camera. 
but as you can see the clip is on this side the front so this face is here so I can actually put the uh, Gourmet unit on the front here and clip it instead of it having to be in the back and just that's a personal thing for me uh, the closer this is to my eyes I can see it better because I you know can't see real well because I'm getting older but another thing you can see compared to the Gourmet you see how I got it clipped and it goes all the way to the bottom the Nano as you can see is barely touching the water it's actually below the minimum fill line there because it's so short so I actually have to put a lot more water in this so if I only had a couple steaks or something uh, that, that I wanted to cook in this I'd really have to put a lot more water in there in this particular hey, I just container yeah uh, I just threw some chicken in there for dinner tonight so we're gonna run it through its uh, test to see just how good this thing can do with a whole chicken I did cut the chicken in half but if you can see my container remember this is an 18 quart container and I do have the water is pretty much right up to about you know two inches from the top and we're still a good two and a half inches from the max fill line so having to fill this up pretty full in order to uh, use the Innova Nano here so just so you can see that there it did uh, slow down a little bit um, as far as heating the temperature up initially it was going pretty quick and then it kind of slowed down a little bit as it dragged on and um, so it's still heating up it looks like there is a timer on the uh, app though that will give you a warm-up period um, usually it looks like uh, depending on how hot the water is going in it'll give you a time of how long it'll take for the water to uh, to heat up to the temp so that's a good thing but so far so good and like I said I'll do some more um, videos with some more tests and compare it to some other things and see how it works but um, for 60 bucks compared to some of the other cheaper units out there so far I like it and um, it uh, the app alone is a lot better than some of the others I've seen with apps so all right guys that's it